And we're live! Yay! Hello, everyone. You know, this is my favorite night of the week. Mine too. My favorite. No, really. Like, this, I look forward to this and being with y'all so much. Like, this makes me happy. I got endorphins running. Dorphins. I've got, 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 I've got Closely hormones going dorphins. all over the place. Dolphins. I got the dolphins running. I enjoy this time that I spend with you so much. Like, it's a lot of fun for me. As a matter of fact, it's so much fun that when we get done with this and we all calm down, I go home and I watch this for an hour and a half again. Wow, that's a lot. It's there, fun. Is, there is a little bit of a come down, you know? Yeah, it is, you know, because when we're here and everybody's out there and we're talking and we're asking questions and we're chatting and everybody's going, it, it, it's fun. It's exciting, it's you know? Fun. Yeah, we got a lot of great content for you tonight, too. So I do want to say... Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. How many was that? And one more thank you for last week. Last because week. Oh, I know where this is going. Because someone stole my hat off my head and raffled it, but you guys made me feel so loved with everybody sending in super thanks that I was not upset about it at all. It was really kind. I, I enjoyed it too. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I stole your hat. I am too. I'm I see you're able to replace it though rather quickly. But this one's this one's a different color. Yeah. The other one was dark. I like the dark ones. So it like as your your tan setup. You know. So can y'all see my face? No makeup on today. Bill's uh, my mother has been watching these. Oh? Yeah. So hi mom, if you're watching. Hey uh, Cole's mom. But she was like, you know, could you just raise up your hat a little bit? I just like to be able to see your face a little That's bit. That's what she more. said about yours? Yeah, and she said that there's a little bit of glare off my glasses. I'm like, I don't know. I mean, I need my glasses. So, you know, I'm not a co contacts person. Well, you know, Michael's I got contact. my contacts in. Yeah, yeah. yeah I wear all kinds of contacts. As a matter of fact, it's going to be a trivia question some night on our, on our monthly trivia night. What color are Michael's eyes? Oh, I know that. What answer. color are Bare Hands Brand's eyes? Who, who wouldn't? That's not our trivia question for the record. Oh, yeah, that's not for the prize box. Hey, speaking of prize box, let's go ahead and jump into that real quick. So this this week's prize box is a little bit different. As a matter of fact, I gave y'all, I alluded to what the prize box is going to be earlier in the community page. If y'all didn't watch the community page, you missed out on an opportunity to win a prize box. But you could win a prize box tonight. It's going to come with this really big Wildlife Command Center sticker that Cole loves. It is. This is my favorite sticker. It, it is. It's, it's, it's our, a great sticker. It's our official bucket sticker. It is a great sticker. You'll win this whoopee cookie right here. You're going to win two Wildlife Command Center multi-tools. Oh, let me show you what the multi-tool is. It's really cool. It's really cool. I got one right here. You guys are going to. This thing is so great. Not only does it have a Phillips screwdriver and a corkscrew so that you can open your wine, but it comes with this really sharp blade. Are those really called? You could def those are really called whoopee cookies? Yeah, that's what I always thought they were. So they're like uh, oatmeal uh, cream pies. I thought that's what they called them. I'm from Louisiana. What can you say? Oh, okay. Nice, sharp, nice. This thing will cut you too. So don't get cut by it. But this is what I really like. On this side, there's a can opener. Mm, I love cans. Right? You can open your pork and beans. And on this side is a bottle opener and a flathead screwdriver. And you'll get two of these. Super cool. You're going to get this Wildlife Command Center Challenge Coin, which is, um, you know, it was made to replicate my challenge coin off my submarine, the USS MG Vallejo 658. And then you're going to get some wonderful, amazing gourmet cookies made by Gracie's mom. And her company name again is Stars, Sweets, and Treats. Stars, Sweets, and Treats. We, it's on Facebook. We get, can we say it again together? Stars, Stars Sweets, and, and Treats. treats. Wow. That was pretty good. She does make a mean cookie, though. Yeah, these are really, really good cookies. I mean, th this is the uh, the maple pecan cookie. You know, Love it. 
Oh, we do. Yeah, and and you get two versions. You got this version, uh -huh. and then you got this version. It just drove her crazy trying to make them. But yeah, and the, it's got people, the Wildlife Command Center people, icing. People think we just throw our our, our uh, logo on anything, and put it in a box. But we there was a big taste testing cookie round we did. We did. So uh, so so Gracie's mom, Miss Star, um, she made like. A dozen, fourteen cookies for us to, to taste test, and we tasted all of them, and they were so. All of them were really, really good. We actually had to do a whittling down to figure out which one was the best. But rest of the prize box, this prize box, you'll get a bag of breakfast blend, Wildlife Command Center coffee. I, breakfast I, blend coffee is amazing. So uh, the coffee's like, so good. We had a couple of people ask. They're like, "Why don't uh, you made a community post?" And they're like, "Why don't you just sell me these things?" Well, guess what? We kind of do. We could. Not everything, but we do. Yeah. But like, if so, you want to purchase our Wildlife Command Center coffee, just go to the link in the description. Yep. Takes go you to, to our link. link tree. It says Wildlife Command Center coffee. We have our merch store on there. Mm -hmm. Someone was like, "If you put a possum on a T-shirt, I'd buy it." And we're and like, we, "Guess what? We got that. We got a possum on T-shirt." Yep. And if you wanted to buy one of these prize boxes, the retail value of this prize box is $61. So you could buy a prize box if you want one. Anyway, we'll come back to this in a little while. But that's going to be the prize box for tonight. Cole is thinking up a really good question. I'm going to tell you, coming up with really hard questions is difficult. You get because, it pretty quick with the question answer. Oh, my gosh. So. You know, if you if you didn't watch the community page, so I posted a picture of what was in the prize box. And I said, if we get 100 likes, I'll ask a question. And man, I thought I was going to use that question that you came up with. And I was like, boy, that's going to be a good one. There's no way they're going to get this. This is going to go all night long. I posted it. And three minutes later. I mean, the question, Shelby, the question I have lined up is not super difficult. It's not. No, it's oh my gosh. Because remember, we briefly looked at it ahead of time, and you're like, we did. No. We kind of did. Remember, and you're like, no, that's too I easy. I said it was too easy. Oh, you're gonna ask that one? I, I, I don't know if I have much else. You know, we've got 400 videos. We've got a lot of videos. We do. We got almost 400 videos. So, anyway, I mean, I got a generic question in my head, but like, it doesn't pertain to our videos. No, it's got to it's got to be re directly related to the video. It's got to be, right? You agree? So, anyway, I want to get into doing something fun. Oh boy, me too. <laughs> really? Yeah. Great, cuz guess what? I'm going to steal your hat and we're going to raffle off Cole's hat tonight. And by the way, this one's made out of real kangaroo. You guys can really see my receding hairline now. And it's, <laughs> will you come smell it, Taylor? Because it smells just like coal. That's my, mm. that's my kangaroo leather hat. Look at this beautiful hat. I, once, you go. once upon a time, I had. It smells just like coal, doesn't it? it smells like coal after a long, hard day of work. Ah, look how beautiful this hat is. We're going to raffle this off tonight. So throw in your super thanks as we go. It's an and you might hat. <laughs> you might win this 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 really nice hat, and it's it's made out of real kangaroo leather. It is. Know? I and uh, when my best friend's a kangaroo. And yeah. So I. I've, How? What does he think about this? Uh, I don't know. I, I I I mean, kangaroos have brains, but I don't think he like contemplates this at night. He's so just, that would be cognitive thought processes. Yeah, you know, you know, they probably think, you know, I don't know how much. Not to get ex existential about kangaroo thought right now, but. Uh, but I had a, a woman was by, I can't remember who it was, but she was like, well, you got to wear cattle to wrangle cattle. So that's what I say. You got to wear kangaroo to wrangle kangaroo. I always thought it was, you got to be friendly to have friends. If you want friends, you got to be friendly. I'm sure that's the same. I think that's different. I don't yeah. think that's the same. Uh, if you want to have a kangaroo <laughs> friend, you got to wear kangaroo. Uh, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to be raffling off. His kangaroo hat. And you know how he loves these hats. Oh, doing, my gosh. Are we doing the same thing? We'll do the same thing. Throw in a super chat. He's going to write your name on a, on a paper. And we'll put it in the hat to win Cole's hat. Huh? Oh, here this one's in on it. Here this. 
Whoa, there's already got super chat. All right, hear this. Right, hear this is like. I got to keep up with the. Uh, you got to keep up again. with it. Hey, this is a really nice hat. It Not is. to mention it's iconic. Have you ever seen Cole without his hat? So I've been wearing uh, uh, the company's called uh, Barma. Barma. It's B A R M A H. And by uh, the way, I've got the hat right here. So that all the names will go in it. So, so as y'all throw in the super chat, Maria's oh. on board. She's like, I right, want Maria. Maria's like, I want a collection. But what's cool about the kangaroo hats is they have to be made in Australia. Oh, really? I didn't know that. So, I mean, made in Australia, but their other hats are made. So it's in, been imported to the yeah, US. Yeah, but their States. other hats are made in the USA. Oh, okay. That's so, cool. But this is an alligator. Hey, Maria, did you get your hat that you won last week yet? Does anybody, did you get that yet? You should have got that by now. Because I mailed it out the next day. You she know? probably got it. Willie yeah. Weed says that's your your backup hat. hat. So my, I, I go through different hat phases. So like I usually like get a hat, I'll wear it for like six months, you know, and then mm -hmm. I'll have like my reserve hat. So yeah, it is my reserve hat. But that was worn by me every single day for quite some time. Mm -hmm. I've never seen you without your hat very often. No. That's just like I've I've always got a ball cap on. You gotta get caught up. On I that. love ball caps. Well, you better get caught up. You got some super chats going. Thank you. Hear this. Appreciate that super chat. And Maria, thank you, thank you, thank you for that super chat. And you got your names in the hat. And uh, we're gonna move on through this. Um, I've got a special treat for tonight. Um, <clears throat> it, you guys know that we we participate in recycle reuse. All right. And oh, if you yeah. if you don't know what that means, then throw a super chat in there and I'll tell you. No, I'm going to tell you anyway. So recycle, reuse. Like we always are recycling things, reusing things so that we don't have to throw a lot of stuff away, but also so that we can uh, grasp the value, you know, take in the value. Kate. Who's this? Kate. Hey, Kate. Kate. Kate that. Thank, thanks for the super chat, Kate. Appreciate that. Um. Anyway, we, we believe in recycle, reuse. I'm telling this story because this morning I was coming to work and a car in front of me hit a rabbit. I mean, just smacked it. And I was like, Err! and then there was too much traffic coming. So I whipped in and I saw that our technician, Jeremy, was at the gate. He was locked out, couldn't get in. And I was like, Jeremy, jump in real quick and uh, let's go get this rabbit. So we, drove, we turned around, we went back and we picked up the rabbit. And you know, that rabbit was so big, it fed all of the hawks and owls outside, all of it. And I say that to say this, tonight, we're going to be tasting some jerky. Jer is, is, this isn't a weird thing. So uh, like, like we'll be just driving in the car and uh, if Michael sees a, a freshly uh, um, passed squirrel. Yeah, if I see a road. squirrel that's been hit, it's like... But it is, it's additionally helpful because the other point that like last time you stop and I was like, it's always ridiculous that you stop, but it, we, one of our Raptor rescue videos that we recently went on was because a hawk got clipped mm -hmm. eating roadkill. Yeah. And obviously that's a good thing. I mean, they're scavengers, mm -hmm. like they want, uh, they, they need the food to eat, but you know, taking a squirrel off the middle of the road honestly could potentially save a bird of prey. That is true. And move, removing that squirrel or removing that rabbit from the road is definitely um, a way to make sure that it doesn't get hit. Uh, appreciate y'all throwing in those super chats. Um, I stole Cole's hat because he stole mine last week. Um, I got to admit, though, his hat's a lot nicer than mine was. I, I do. I actually like my kangaroo leather hat more than the alligator because it's breathable. Oh, OK. It's much lighter. Yeah. It breathes better. It's uh, it's super fancy too. We're, we're actually going to be using kangaroo leather uh, later tonight. on tonight. On we're going to be using ca kangaroo leather. But anyway, I didn't get to the point of my story. Roadkill. All right, we we're talking about roadkill. Mm -hmm. Rabbit this morning fed all of our hawks. Me and Cole driving around to see a dead squirrel. If the tail is fluffy in the wind, you can tell it's fresh. So or I'll stop. Give a little sniffy sniff. I do smell them just to make sure mm -hmm. they're good. But another thing that I like to do is I like to make roadkill jerky. Roadkill jerky. 
like if we if if there's a fresh deer, Gracie Gracie's out. over here wiggling in her chair. She mm -hmm. she's not a big fan of this this concept. But I like to make roadkill jerky. So <clears throat> we are going to taste five different five different types of jerky. Now I showed Gracie earlier that on the bottom of the cup, we wrote what it is. But I do have a very interesting statistic about these five jerkies. And if you see, it's it's real jerky. So, and this uh -huh. is kind of, uh, Michael threw out this idea like a year ago to me, but he was like, hey, we should do a roadkill road trip. Yes. <laughs> roadkill road trip. So, so what we do is take $500 to a good charitable cause like a raptor rescue somewhere else. Yeah, because why else would you just get on the road and eat roadkill? Exactly. And and so we go with no money, all right, and no food. And as we're traveling, we come across roadkill. We get out, sniffy sniff, see if it's any good. Mm -hmm. And then if I deem it to be edible, that's what we're going to have for dinner that night. I'm not particularly too fearful because Michael, uh, you know, he really is your uh, traditional hunter-gatherer. Yep. And uh, so if, if Michael says it's good, uh, it's good. I'd feel comfortable with that decision. Yeah. I, Do you have, wait. You got a question? That means I got to stop talking. Cool. Yeah, someone did put that in the chat. So good call out. Hey. Yeah, that's very good. So there's two things that will kill rabies. What, if, right? what if the roadkill has rabies? I was what if the roadkill had rabies? All right. Well, there's two things. One, it's a virus. All right. Two, any temperatures less than 90 degrees and the virus dies. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be taking this trip in the winter time or the cooler times of the year. Oh, are we? All right. Yes, we will. The other thing is cooking meat. If it had rabies, cooking it will kill the rabies virus. The other thing is when, when something has rabies, it's usually frothing in the mouth. And we typically contract rabies through the saliva glands. Well, I can assure you it'll be well cooked. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for obvious I'm reasons. I'm not going for medium rare roadkill. <laughs> but but anyway, the rest of the story is roadkill road trip. We go, we take some money to a charitable cause. Mm -hmm. No food, no money. We're going to be making shorts as we go. And the more likes we get and views on the shorts, we're going to equate it to a certain amount of money. Like maybe one like is one penny. And that's all the money we're going to have for fuel. I'll never okay? get off the road. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we will. People like our stuff all the time. We get lots of likes, you know. But if we can't get enough likes, then we're going to have to sell stuff on the side of the road to get money for gas. I might make some jerky and sell jerky on the side of the road. I may uh, just bring a kazoo with me. A and play the kazoo? Yeah, just play a little, a couple jingles, you know, with uh, my hat out, you know. Anyway, I'm pretty excited about these five cups. All right, because in these five cups are five different types of jerky. And I know what they are. I just don't know which cup is which. Okay. And we're going to taste them and we're going to see what they think. But I'm going to tell you some facts about this. Okay. One is that two of these meats are verified roadkill. All right. Great. I found it on the side of the road. I, I cleaned it. I, I haven't filleted it up. I haven't looked at it. And and I I have a really good jerky. Great, maker, Gracie dehydrated. looked at this ahead of time, and she's over just <laughs> laughing in the corner right now. She she thinks this is so good. So, but you wrote what these were on the bottom. Of I wrote these. it on the bottom. Okay. Yep. So two of these are are verified roadkill. All right. The other thing is that one of these. Well, first off, all five of these, four of them were dead, to begin with. Uh. And now all, all now all of them are dead. No, one of them is different. One of them was not. Scott in the raffle drawing from my hat this evening. Thank you, Scott. Scott. Oh, Scott. Oh, hey, Scott. I play Pokemon Go with Scott. Scott said two. These are considered pets. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's true. Oh no, two of them what? could be considered pets. <laughs> no, I'm sorry. So weird. You're right, Scott. Well, anyway, I'm like super excited. Uh, no, one of these jerkies is not like the others because it was never killed. Like, 
Like it was never, it was it wasn't euthanized. How's that? It was not euthanized. I'm keeping, One of these. I'll be keeping up with the super chats if you can trust me. But we may get into. Like I trust a, you. We may have a button conundrum. You know. You don't want me to touch the buttons. Yeah, we got. Or do we? Pre- <laughs> Gracie just put a super chat. <laughs> you imagine if Gracie wins my hat, she shows up with my hat on her. <laughs> Gracie wants the super chat. All right. <laughs> All right. So as soon as you catch up on the on the super chat, I'm fine. I'm you're fine. one behind. I'm I'm two. I'm three behind. I'm good. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Hey, and you do know that uh, the the only reason why Cole agreed to this is because he stole my hat, but also because all of the money goes to our Raptor Rescue. This is an eighty dollar hat. It, it helps you. An eighty dollar hat. An eighty dollar hat. The one wow. I'm wearing is one hundred and forty. Wow. I know these are nice hats. I wore the thing for like a year. That was, hey, that was my main bed, bread and butter for a while. This is a really nice this hat. This hat can be seen all over our YouTube channel. It is true. This hat, this hat has been used all over our YouTube channel. But look how beautiful that is. Anyway, there's your names right there. Um, so anyway. There's only one other person. So has Cole has agreed hands. to, you know, let me do this. But but the other reason is because all the money is going to go to Raptor Rescue. Hey, also, if you're in the St. Louis area, Friday night, the 24th, we're going to have our first ever trivia night. And we're going to have trivia night every month. It's going to be a different thing. First night, this this Friday night, is Harry Potter. So if you know anybody in St. Louis, and if you know any Harry Potter people, or if you just know people that like want to hold and cuddle an owl, definitely tell them to come out to the, to the trivia night. And it's on our Facebook page if you want to see it. Wow, you're having a hard time keeping up with all these names. Yeah, Maria wins my hat, too. She's just going to have, like, a weird shrine of us. <laughs> it's going to be like, hey, Arnold. With, so, uh... so whenever we go to Las Vegas, we, we go visit Maria, and we're like, hey, show us the Michael and Cole shrine. <laughs> Who was the anyway. girl in Hey, Arnold? Who was that? You girls are too young, probably. You remember? All right, let us know if you remember the name of the, the weird uh, one, one eyebrow girl from Hey Arnold, because it's bugging me. So. Oh, yeah, I remember what she looks like. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, so we got five jerkies here. Some interesting things. Two of them could be considered pets. Two of them were roadkill, and one of them is not like the others. I'm kind of hungry right now, so this is good. All right, well, I'll tell you what. Let's let's try this one. Gracie, take a look at the, that. Can I look at the... No. Okay, you can put it up to the camera. All right. I don't know if it's going to be on the camera, though. Yeah, they can read that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, they can read that. Okay, okay so they can see it. Don't look. Am I really the guinea pig here? Like, do I have to No, I'm going to try it with you. Well, I know, but you're, you, you know yeah. what it is. It's, just, it's a little scary. I'm going to try it. Okay, well, this looks... Her name is Helga. 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 Yeah, all right. Thanks for that. It smells... It smells sweet. I'm going to... So off a of smell, I'd say that this is maybe a manufactured like product. Oh, that's another thing. Is three of these were store bought. Yeah. Oh, that's good. You like that? It tastes hammy. Hammy? Yeah, I'm getting some like, I'm getting some uh, pork. That's actually really good. A little peppery. What about the consistency of it? See, it's really sweet, so it's making me think. It's making me think that. Uh, Did you try some? Yeah, I gave it. That it came from an Taylor actual. tried some too. It didn't come from the side of the road. It makes me think that <laughs> it came from a company because I'm getting some sweet profiles in there. Unless you're really good at making jerky. Did you make I am pretty one? good. No, I didn't make that. Mm. You ready for the reveal? Hey, All right. emergency question. Emergency question? Can you say hi to little six year old Maggie? Hey Maggie. Hi, Maggie, how are you doing, Maggie? Hey, appreciate you watching. Maggie, thanks for but, for watching. But it's time for bed, Maggie. So you know, uh, a little bedtime tune. You know, a little lullaby. Go to sleep, Go to sleep little Maggie. Maggie. <laughs> yeah, that was good. A little spicy, a little little spicy profile there too. All right, so the say, big reveal. It's pretty teriyaki. Hey, okay, so this is the one that is not like the others. <laughs> Do you have any more guesses before I tell you? I'd I have, say I have a guess. it tastes. It tastes. You know what it is? No, I don't. Oh, I told you. It tastes teri- oh. it, it tastes teriyaki oh. and it tastes uh, kind of porky to me. I'll just tell you this. 
I love the taste and I love the consistency, but I hate the fact that it's a fraud. Yeah. It is a fraud. It's not jerky at all. It is jalapeno. Ha no, it is jalapeno plant-based fake. Wow. So this is one of the plant-based jerkies? Yes. I you got the packaging still or did you throw it away? Yeah. So no, I got the packaging. Right don't, here. don't show me any of the other packagings, but. No, I won't. So this was uh this was gotcha. Wow. Gotcha jalapeno plant-based jerky. You guys you know sure what? got me. Gotcha. You, you thought it you thought it was real meat, didn't you? I yeah, I definitely I felt it I like I said, it didn't taste like uh it didn't taste hearty like a beef. That's why I said like a pork or something. I didn't think it was like yeah. uh coming from like a bison or anything. So here's my here's what I just don't figure out is is vegans, vegetarians. We love them. <clears throat> They don't like meat, but yet they want everything to be meat. That is true. They want it to look like meat. They want it to have meat names. They want it to, to but not meat. fake meat. So I just think that's a, a hypocritical. Hey, another super chat. Another name goes in the hat. So the super chat. Maybe we should give Taylor the go button so when we hear it, she can interrupt us. Yes, yeah, so let's what do that. We, let's hear it. I'm going to give you the. So when you hear the goat, that means we got to stop means and go we got for a question because sometimes I miss stuff on the live. So she's over there, uh, additional to checking things out. She's under. You have bare hands, uh, bare hand brands. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. But if you see bare hands brand on the chat during our lives, it's usually our moderator who is Taylor and I. So thank you, Taylor. Uh, yeah. All right. Next one. All right. So don't look at the screen. Yeah. Yes, they can see that. Okay. All right. That was a little spicy. It's kind of like still in my stomach. Oh, boy. This is looking... Uh... <laughs> it looks like it's manufactured. Why, so it smells like Parmesan. <laughs> smells like Parmesan? <laughs> it's mm. pretty good, isn't it? It tastes like what it is. <laughs> you think it does? Yeah. I think it tastes really good. And I've never tried it. So they make beef jerky that comes in little dip cans? Yeah. The, yeah, that's what it tastes like. This tastes like, uh, I don't know why it smells like Parmesan. <laughs> it, it's definitely like, it's definitely more earthy. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you're going to go with, earthy? It's Wait. good, though. Yeah. I'm going to say, uh. Yeah. I'm gonna... <laughs> okay, hey. It is kind of <laughs> Okay. So, so Scott. Fishy. Scott. Remember that night we were playing Pokemon Go out at Fenton Park? I'm getting in my head about this. Too. Well, <laughs> whenever I left, somebody hit a Canada goose right outside the park entrance. And I slammed on the brakes, baby. <laughs> and so... This is actually goose jerky from a roadkill goose. I was gonna, I was gonna, I was gonna, you really? said it was fishy. It, I, it, like, you said turkey? It said turkey at first. Yeah. I mean, it didn't say turkey. I was thinking turkey. But so, it's so not this, turkey this is, this is roadkill goose, you know? It tastes like what they smell like. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Parmesan. <laughs> but me and Scott were playing Pokemon Go out at Fenton Park. And um, and it is it had just... It had just gotten dark and we were finished and we left. And uh, this, these geese was like four of them flying across the road and a car <laughs> smacked one of them. And I threw on the brakes, picked it up, and I made I made goose jerky out of it. So. I don't think I did. Whoa. <laughs> I was so preoccupied. But... <laughs> hey, Lucille. Why do vultures eat dead things? Because dead stuff can't run away from them. They don't have talons. They don't have talons. I didn't know that. So, so they have a so they got little so puppy paws. So technically, they do have talons, but they don't. They can't grab like like a, a hawk can. Their their feet are really flat for running and walking and sitting on flat surfaces, and uh, and they're just not they're not made to be really chase, hunt, ambush, predator type animals. Well, they are carnivores, you know. 
And so they they eat dead things because dead things can't run away from them. And uh, and they clean them up. And they're nature's cleanup tools, you know. But uh, but that's the reason. Dead things are on the side of the road, so you see them on the side of the road quite often. But here's here's an interesting fact. Vultures do not like to eat disgusting dead things. Well, let's they don't like to eat decayed meat. Oh, well, they're like me. They uh yeah. <laughs> Although you did eat some uh, some dead goose. I I uh, l- listen, like I you grew up in the swamp like <laughs> dealing with some weird stuff, okay? And like you're an outdoors guy, you know, you're you are a bit of a hunter via the falconry. Yeah. Regiment primarily. Yeah. So like when I, the North Korean zombies hit, I'll be ready. Then the other thing too is that I mean like part of the business side of things is you you do deal with a lot of dead things a lot in of the dead first stuff. place. So yeah, we are uh, we do have a couple uh, deer contracts, you know. Mm-hmm. So like yep. like uh, you call in a dead deer, uh, <laughs> we those we'll go people too. So he's got a lot of experience knowing what's bad and, and what's, what's not bad. So. Yeah, but vultures do not like decayed flesh they prefer fresh flesh you know and when i started my company in louisiana i hey super chat i uh, i own 12 acres of land and so i took a an old picnic table way out in the back because there was nobody around there was like a hundred and something acres that bu- butted up my 12 acres anyway i used to take the the things that were dead like you know stuff that had to be dispatched or things that i had to go pick up and I would nail them to the top of this uh, picnic table. And I had a whole flock of vultures that would come in as soon as I left the picnic table. They would just all fly in and eat everything off the picnic table. And I can tell you that they prefer dog over possum. And they like possum over raccoon. And they'll eat skunk above all of it. So interesting stuff. Oh, they love armadillo. Love armadillo. So we need to we need to get to the next yeah. taste, yeah. the Hold next away. taste. So so make sure that they can read it, yep. that it's up so they can read it. Cold look away then. All right, so Cole, Cole's typing. His head's down. He can't yeah. see. Yeah, I see the super, super chat. chat. All right, so this is the next one. All right, Cole, I really I really think you're gonna like this one. We gotta stop raffling off our belongings. Apparently, <laughs> we need to start. Gotta stop. It's like because oh, we won't have anything left. Uh, I was just joking about the number of, of of kind super chats we get. Hey, you guys, this is a really nice hat. This is an eighty dollar hat. Plus, it's famous because it's all over YouTube. I don't. I like that. That's good. This, the jerky looks too good. <laughs> like now that I don't have faith in your jerky making, but <laughs> it looks That's processed. Spicy. Hmm. <laughs> Taylor's got a capsaicin uh, thing. She can't eat spicy either. Intolerance. Yeah, I love that because Ooh. not only is that sweet, but it's got a little bit of Louisiana kick to it. You know, a little bit Louisiana kick to it. <laughs> it's bam down in the bayou. <laughs> <laughs> you like that? That was like. That was like my swap was pretty good. Was like, hey, we're down here to buy you. We're checking in with Billy and Jim to see if they got another alligator about. Um, That's my. I'm a little creeped out by that, you know. By that voice? <laughs> no, just the whole. Uh, the uh, if, if I if I had seen somebody like that in a swamp, we probably would have run. <laughs> Welcome to my swamp. Whoa, got a question. <laughs> If we're going to see a hair, we are going to see a Harris Hawk tonight. Yes, we are going to see a Harris This is going to be a really long live. I don't think so. It's going to be regular. How long have we gone so far? This is going to be a oh, really, really long live tonight. Oh, well, we don't if, have to do everything I had planned. If you, if you do donate to uh, the Super Chat, you want to be in the hat raffle. If you aren't able to stick all the way to the end of the live, we will post it on our community page. So. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you can't stay all the way, but I, I encourage you to stay. Um, you definitely, if we pull your name, you're winning. You don't have to be present to win. My belly's getting warm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kind of spicy. All right. So Anyways. anyway. That goo- so, goose got me loose. Did you like it? Uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm def, I, uh, 
I feel emotionally better about that jerky. Just because <laughs> like like, you know it couldn't be somebody's pet. I felt like it came from a, a, a different background. <laughs> so, but I mean, it's definitely spicy. So, if it's not yeah. jalapeno, it's like uh, um, it's it's red pepper. So, it's called Old Trapper, Old Trapper beef, sweet and hot, old. <laughs> We we do not we do not want to get rid of you guys on the, the legit, here. This says you want to get rid of us. No, we don't want. Oh man, that looks really spicy. I would not pick that at a gas station. Whoa! Well, you, there's a couple of things. Don't buy sushi at a gas station or egg sandwiches. You know, or egg sandwiches. So don't buy egg sandwiches at a gas station or sushi. Didn't you make but anyway, this is old trapper hot and spicy. It's really good. It's um. It, I, I really enjoyed this one. Uh, this one was really good. Oof. All right. <laughs> Two more to go, bro. Right. Two Get more away. to go. Look Excuse me. All right. Look away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Look away. We'll back up a little bit right there. Nope. Too much I really right feel... there. Okay. So that's good. Yeah. I really All right. feel like the test rabbit here. Yeah. So this is this is one of my it's favorites. Tough. This one's one, one of my favorites. You know why I like this one? Because mm. it's, it's got plenty of salt. It's salty. I'm getting some garlic notes. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. It is. Well, mm -hmm. when I tell you the story, you'll understand why it's so tough. I'm so, I'm so confused. <laughs> We turn that bringer all the way down. Um, That's a tough one, huh? That's hard to tell. <laughs> I'm trying to get, get some of the air. <clears throat> I went down my throat. <laughs> Wrong poop. It tastes a little garlicky. Mm -hmm. um, it does kind of, I hate to be that person, but it does kind of taste like chicken, like really dried chicken. Well, that's because <laughs> I was going down Old Twenty One. Oh no! Near Mer near the Merrimack River, uh, poor woman's chicken got hit, and seven turkeys flew across the road, and one of them got clipped by a box truck, like it, it was some kind of insulation truck or something. So I swerved over three lanes of of traffic, and I picked it up, and it's roadkill turkey, wild turkey. It is, it's, it was definitely very bad Thanksgiving dinner. Like, a very bad Thanksgiving dinner? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, it. It. I like the whatever season. I don't know what seasoning you put on it. I used Montreal steak seasoning in it. Mm, I am. That's probably why it tastes like chicken to me, because I put that Ro seasoning on my chicken. Oh, do you? Yeah. I, I that love before. that seasoning. Well, I have I, in the past. We I love Montreal. Is, is it Montreal or Monterey? It's Montreal. Definitely Montreal. Montreal. Yeah. yeah. It's Mont really good. Monterey. I like it. But anyway, that's what the super chat. Thank you for that super chat. So if you're new to the live. By the way, if you are new to the live. <laughs> yeah, that's probably best to talk about it. Uh, last week, Cole stole my hat. So in return, I stole his hat this time. The only difference is mine was a $15 hat and his is an $80 hat. Uh, but anyway, this is kangaroo Aussie hat. You see it in all of our videos, especially some of our older videos from about a year ago. I mean, honestly, not that old. Like, you know? I, I, I wore that hat. I, it's in beautiful. It's in beautiful shape. Uh, it does. It does smell like coal. But anyway, definitely uh, can pull my DNA. So, off of there. so all of the proceeds from raffling this hat off tonight are going to our Raptor Rescue, so that we can perform more rescues. You know, mm -hmm. it costs us about twenty five dollars a rescue on average. Some of them a little more, some of them a little less, but um, all the money is going to go to our Raptor Rescue. So last week we raised what was it? Like a hundred and fifteen, hundred and fifteen dollars or something. Hundred and fourteen dollars. That's almost five rescues. You know, that's, that's just short of five rescues. Yeah. So that's a lot of that's a lot of hawks and owls and eagles you guys saved last week. And so thank you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. We've got one more jerky to go. All right. <laughs> <laughs> look away, look away, look away, look away. Yeah, they can right there. It's perfect. Yeah, they can read that. Okay, cool. Okay, you can look. 
<laughs> I got to sneeze. I got. I feel a sneeze coming on. Go, 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 go ha chung chai. Feel like I need a snot rock. <laughs> <laughs> Could you go outside for that? Mm -mm. Yeah. Mm. That's pretty good. Uh uh. Uh uh. Uh uh. It's too hot for Taylor. Taylor's pretty hot herself. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I just know her, her tummy wouldn't like it. Start raffling you know? off Taylor. I'm just trying to be a, a nice person. This has got a kick to it. Oh, yeah. It, this, this, this would be socially acceptable this in Louisiana. Tastes, it's not <laughs> bad. I wouldn't normally buy it, but it's not bad. This tastes like Red Hots. Like, I feel like Red Hots has their name on this. Jack Links. Hot and spicy. Wild Heat from Jack Links. I never get these, like, hot. Yeah, me neither, but that's good. I love the hot ones, you know, because I'm so emotionally dead inside. I need something on my tongue to wake me up. You know, but anyway, this is really good. So, in your opinion, which one did you like the best? Do you think? Like, you can pick any of them, and it's not going to hurt my feelings if you don't pick the roadkill, because I, mean, I understand. The, the turkey one wasn't actually that bad, and that's that's more of my my taste profile like i can't i can't do the super spicy mm. like i'm over here like thinking about 2 a.m tonight <laughs> you didn't eat that much i know but still like i got that warm belly feeling i could like, eat that whole bag and not affect me at all i got a cast iron stomach down in Louisiana. yeah you know <laughs> <laughs> Shoulder <thing>. I <laughs> promise you, in the in the end days after the apocalypse, I will be able to survive. You know, I'm a little red after. Yeah, you are a little. You are a little. Y'all are drinking coffee creamer to make it to cut the thing. Someone, hey, it works. Someone mentioned hot ones. Hot ones. You know the shot. The uh, it's uh, Sean Evans. The show with hot questions, even hotter wings. Oh yeah. You know, y'all should get me on that show. I would love to do that. With I don't think we're there yet. I don't think so either. I'd love, I'd anyway. love, I watch that show a lot. I'd love to go on that show. And I, I'll tell you what, you want to see me emotionally collapse on YouTube, feed me 10 hot wings. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your guy for sure. <laughs> You'll be dead. So, you know what I think we should do next week? I think, <laughs> oh my gosh, Taylor, is that a nosebleed? <laughs> Not doing no, well over there. It's not next week. So I love the taste testing stuff. Like mm -hmm. I love to do, I like to test them up and see. Um, Gator jerky sounds good. My, my favorite was the old trapper, hot and spicy. Like I love this. This was not only was it tender, but it had a little bit of sweet to it. Mm -hmm. And that after kick with that chili pepper in Just there. Just like how mom used to make the jerky. My mom did not make jerky. Okay. Well, I'm, in I'm just, fries. just stereotyping out at this point. So, so next week, I think we should try something with Elijah or with Selma, the ringtail lemur. And we should like try like maybe maybe something like Spree you and, uh, or some well, sweet tarts. A little live uh, lemur approved. Yeah, kind of like a live. Hey, hey, thanks for the super chat. Which one is that, Maria? Hey, Maria, thank you. I appreciate you pacing this at this too, yeah, because Marie, that really works well Marie for us. Hear this and this out. Send in another one, but I don't. You're not making it unfair. It, all the money's hey, going to wrap chat, the Super chat, you know? All right. So, Gracie, which one did you like the best? Honestly, the jalapeno or the, um, the goose one. The goose? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Gracie says she likes the, the goose. The goose roadkill. She liked the roadkill goose. I would never. That makes me feel good. I never would have expected was too dry too, too was chewy see, yeah, too i dry. like i like that though you did it just tasted like the cooked like chicken skin that nobody eats chicken skin I, that nobody eats eat like, but when it's like too like the bottom layer hey can y'all believe that dub eats the, ch the chicken skin a lot yeah i it. can <laughs> hey my dog dub who by the way in march he will be 105 years old Super chat. No, that was just me uh, oh. praising Dub for being old. So, so in March, Dub will be 
15 years old. He has completely lost his hearing. Like, mm -hmm. either that or he's got uh, super he's selective got, he hearing. Because he hears the food, but he doesn't hear the yelling. Super Robin. chat. Hey, Robin. Robin. All right, I'm going to put this stuff up. Uh, Gracie, why don't you uh, go get our next yep. guest while I go outside. Shout out to Robin. Robin's great. She Robin comes by, great. she volunteers. She, she does a lot of volunteer work She was work scooping here. chicken poop up for uh, us uh, in the back. Of the she was scooping chicken poop a lot. Super appreciative. You know, so that's yeah. pretty cool. That's a lot of names in there. I appreciate you guys. Keep sending oh, those in. Yeah, I got You know, Cole, Cole's got, uh, Cole definitely, um, well, I guess I, since I'm the one that stole his hat, um, got a better prize than last week. Well, I'll, this is a better prize. Well, I know you, you signed your hat and stuff, but I'm not as famous as you, but maybe I can have you sign it and me sign it. Ooh. And we'll send it uh, off. Oh, Let's so put, you're going to get two autographs on this hat. Yeah, I'll have Michael sign the hat. I'll sign the hat. And then uh, you can have it basically. That's a authenticated, authenticated oh. then, you know. You know how much that's going to be worth in about three years? Man, I'm hoping a lot. That, that's going to be worth like six, seven hundred dollars. There's um, only one other of my hat that's like out there in the wild. So it, it, it's kind of like, uh, uh, who's, uh, <laughs> who's the, uh, you know, the old cowboy guy? Uh, uh come on. Woody? Come on. Woody? Come no, on. What are you talking about? John Wayne? John Wayne. Uh, yeah. Thanks. John Wayne? I, knew, I knew you had, had me on that one. All yeah. yeah, right. Um, so anyway, um, I need to take a break real quick because I've got to go catch Blackjack. He doesn't have any equipment on. He's free flighted in the in the he, muse. He's just going outside to get a hawk, but you know how that can go. It's going to take me a minute. So in the meantime, Gracie is going to grace you with her presence. Welcome. Sorry, sorry, Mars. Okay. So everybody, this is Mars. He was here a couple weeks ago in the background. You're gonna um, have to speak up for us. I Gracie. know. I know. Yell a so, little louder. <laughs> so Mars is our I lantern a, falcon. I need a flashlight. Huh. Also, I call him football boy because he sits like a football every day on his little perch back there. So Mars is a lantern falcon, and they're usually from like Asia, Southeast Europe, things like that. This um, is this is Mars for yeah. you, those of you that haven't met Mars. This and this is, is also Gracie, a rodent champion. You're getting a lot of love right now in the chat. Oh, thanks, guys. I so. love Gracie. She's so cute. <laughs> oh. Hashtag Maria. So, uh, thank you, Maria. Um, <laughs> Lanner Falcons can go typically like 90 miles an hour, which is crazy. And they're typically used by people as bait birds for, what was it, peregrine falcons? Is that what you said? Yeah, so sadly, these the lantern falcons can be used as bait birds, which uh, is not a great scene. But uh, in order to catch a peregrine falcon, which, which is goes, like, the, the most sought after bird yeah. in many areas of the world, they'll actually use a lantern falcon who's not seen as valuable or as important in order to catch it. Because uh, since they are falcons, they do hunt other birds as their main source of food. He's watching me right now. And, and falcons are more jumpy. Yeah, they it, are. And he doesn't like being pet or anything like that. He mm -hmm. kind of sticks to his own thing. Even though they're typically used as, like, the first falcon for a lot of falconers because they're supposed to be, like, and they have, like, a very enjoyable demeanor. And they're very sweet, which he is nice. He just stays in his own little bubble. And he doesn't like people being in his bubble. They typically don't like, you know, there's a, a real popular like TikTok reel thing going on right now mm -hmm. with a woman who tried to rescue a hawk that had been hurt and it just nailed her mm -hmm. and would not let go. And EMS is trying to get those talons out. Falcons aren't more inclined to do that. It's really a hawk thing that really ratchet down. I mean, they have the same talons, but they always sit on flat oh, perches. Very fast. Uh, falcons do. So it's a little less of a. Uh, Potentially going to get eaten up by some talons. Right. Yeah, it is a good question. I don't, it looks like Mars. Okay, got a little poop there. Not much. Where? I think right here. No. You that's sure? Just a stain. Okay. I got poop scared there for a <laughs> anyway, second. Anyways, everybody say bye to Mars. Bye, Mars. Bye, Mars. Blackjack. Mars is like, don't mess with me, man. Yes. 
He wants to go back to sleep. I'm going to beat you up. So we're bringing out uh, Blackjack here. And we're going to be putting some equipment on him. He's been free flying out there. And we've got like four or five different hawk pins set up. And Michael can probably talk about uh, some of the regulations. Because there are requirements uh, for housing birds if you are a falconer. I saw a little falconry uh, love on the chat earlier. I just didn't call that out. Um, but yeah, there's just, uh, I'm a little worried that this will be uh, our poop moment for the live. It seems like we always have. It was uh, one of our volunteers, Jeremy, said that we should rename this desk uh, the poop deck. <laughs> I, yeah. I thought that was uh, pretty clever. Yeah. Though. Um, so yeah, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to think of what else do you guys want to know from me? Cause I'm running dry here by myself. Here, this I'll update you guys. If you're new one, definitely like that, uh, the stream that's always helpful. Um, but if you want to be included in the official, uh, Cole Hieronymus hat raffle at the end of this live, any super chat is going into the hat and you will, uh, Get that signed and delivered uh, by myself and Bare Hands Paran. Yep. So, a um, little background. Thank goodness you're you back. You did good. I, I panicked hey, there for great. a minute. Hey, didn't they do great? Y'all, y'all, give them some claps in the in the in the chat room. You know. Um, oh, also, every time you hit a chat line, it helps our algorithm. So, give them some claps. You, you know, a, the little clappy, the little clappy line? thing. Chat line. A chat line. Every chat line. Oh, like when you put in. A Response. Yeah, yeah, when you put in a response or something. Yeah, it's on over. All right, so a little bit about Blackjack. Blackjack. Um, I don't want to hear him. Blackjack's been free lofted for quite a while. Um, he is the offspring of Sotsky and George, two of our best hunting, our best jackrabbit catching Harris hawks. And so he is the son of those two. Um, but he is going to be going to. Um, uh, we're he's going to be going to a different falconer and so we've got to put some equipment on him and uh, and get him ready to ship out so if you could help me over here so we can make our anklets um, and these are these are not hunting anklets these are just uh, muse anklets so if you can help me put on this is the inside and then the hole has to go this way uh, someone wanted me to tell yes. you that they stopped by, Gracie, at Caleb. A Caleb stopped uh, by. Oh, cool. I know Caleb. Hi, Caleb. Thanks for stopping by. Be careful of his, he will yeah. grab you. I know. So okay. as we were talking about potentially nope. getting footed. See a little bitty hole? This is a, a moment for that, potentially. Oh. You put um, it on this one. Here, we'll go, do this one. Well, go get me the, um, the leather punch. I forgot to put a hole in this. Yeah, so you do not want to get on the working end of Here, these. Let me show. <laughs> no, thank you. Go ahead, stick your finger in I'm, there. I'm really good. So these things are like little vice grip traps, you know? Um, so you see that? Yeah. And then you got the littlest one. Yeah. We'll put it all the way through. Right there. there. Yep. So we're just Pardon? working on uh, the anklets. For the bird here. Yep. Yeah, we're put, putting the anklets on, and we put the anklets on so we can put the jesses on, and then once we put the jess on, then we put the leash on, and then we can get him ready. We gotta go get take him to the vet so he can get a health certificate, and uh, and then we're gonna ship him out. So he's gonna go to a new falconer. Very good. You did that really well. Awesome. All right. So let's I see saw both of those super chats. The hole goes the other way. Oh, Nicole showed up. Nicole, hey, Nicole, how are you? Hey, guess what we're doing, Nicole? Uh, Last week, Cole Cole stole my hat. So this week, I stole his, and we're raffling his hat off. The only difference is uh, his hat is an $80 hat, my hat was a $15 hat. So I really think his hat's better. So uh, we are going to go ahead and- Hey, show Nicole the hat. We, we will end, endorse the hat with our signatures, too. So you, you guys will have a, a bit of uh, bare hands for with that hat as well. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll put 
that in there. Same thing on that one. It is a genuine Cole hat. That was my everydayer. Yeah, so that hat's on a lot of YouTube videos. A lot of YouTube videos. Yep. All right, put the leash through. Nope, nope. Yeah, it goes through the loop first. Then it goes through. Yeah. Blackjack's been very good so far. You know, for a bird that has not been uh, handled in about a year, he has been exceptionally good. Like we'll we'll see once we get the equipment on if he'll sit on the fist. All right, that'll work. Okay, perfect. Hey, question. Yeah. Have you tried <clears throat> biothane anklets, or is there a reason you prefer leather? Uh, biothane are amazing. That is, a, that is an amazing product. And I do like them because they have antimicrobial properties. They have silver ions impregnated into the synthetic stock. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, biothane does not rot. It doesn't stretch and it doesn't dry rot. I have no clue what we're talking about. Uh, it's a synthetic material that's been, that was brought into the falconry world about five or six years ago. Yeah, don't say. I don't blame you. Um, not endorsed by Blackjack. No, not at all. Um, but I use kangaroo leather because it's really fast and easy. And uh, for just for muse jesses, it's really, really good. I really, really like it. Um, so anyway, if you're wondering why Blackjack is being this way, it's because he's been free lofted for about a year. And nobody's made him participate with humans other than we feed him you know, through the fence. And so this is, his, uh, that is his distress call that I'll probably, I'm not happy. I'll, I'll stop doing the hype button while we get. Oh, the he'll be fine. One, one of the me. best ways to get a hawk over, over it, over himself is just to get him out and expose him to stuff. You know, on, so. Andre sent a super chat in. Andre. Hey, Andre. Very nice. Very nice. So, so Blackjack um, is a Harris Hawk. And as everyone knows, I love Harris Hawks. I mean, absolutely love them. They're, they're super easy to work with. Um, we'll have this guy flying and hunting in 30 days. And where he's going, uh, he's going to be doing a, a lot of uh, jackrabbit hunting. Now, he's, he's plenty big to catch a jackrabbit. Now, Nicole wrote in, he is so mad. Would you say he's mad or? Yeah, I would say he's 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 a little mad, but he's a little scared. That and that's my point. I was going to bring us most times when you have a reaction like this is really that I, the bird's scared, right? Right. You know, it's like yeah. I'm not familiar with you. I don't yep. want to be in this. It's the same. You've thing. changed. You've changed my environment. Mm -hmm. um, this is not part of the deal. You've betrayed me. You've never done this. To me in over a year so why are, why do we have to do it now you know all those thoughts are going through his head a little intimidation factor you know? yeah that's why he's got his wings up right now mm -hmm. saying i'm big i'm bad don't mess with me i'll mess you up listen brother yeah i was really hoping he would poop because i was kind of aiming him towards you a little bit <laughs> You know, it's really easy on my end because I'm in control. <laughs> you know, it's like I know what he's going to bait and uh, and he's on my fist. So <laughs> it's it's worse being in the chair there. <laughs> Definitely. You know, I have, like flinch every time having to put up with it. Well, it's because you don't you don't know if he's going to hit you. I'm trying to keep him far enough away. He doesn't hit you and I, close enough so that they the, can see that's him. That's also why I wear these hats, because like it is a little bit of protection from the animals, whether it's the birds or the lemurs. The lemurs. Lemurs especially, because uh, they'll get up on your head, and they, they've got those claws, and they don't realize they're using them or not, you know. So They really don't. The, the, the lemurs don't realize that they can hurt. Hey, Super Chat! The, the, the lemurs don't realize that, uh, that they can hurt you. You know, you guys are doing really, really well on the Super Chat, and I'm going to put Blackjack up for a minute, and... Um, and I'm going to get the prize box out so that they can see the prize box because 
Cole has a question. And if you're the first one to answer the question correctly, you're going to win the prize box. But before we do that, I want you to know what the prize box is. I will tell you this. The prize box retail value is $61. So, so it is a good prize box. Hey, can you put this up for me? Where are you going to put him? You want to put him on that perch right there? Uh, I don't know if he'll sit on this perch. He might. Let's see. He might sit up here. I do have a rat map sheet that I just found, and I think it's really interesting. A rat map, a reproductive rat map sheet. Okay, well, I like, I like science. All right. Gracie, a rodent champion, back in the fray. So it says, rats average four to six litters per year. Each litter has six to 12 young. Rats reach reproductive maturity at three months and then can become pregnant again hours after giving birth. Rat breeding is most active in the spring and fall. Rats can live up to 18 months, but many die before one year in the wild. But it starts off two, and then it goes to like 10, and then it goes to like 30, and then it's just a whole thing of just rats. You're not going to be able to see it, but. So is that all within a year? Yeah, the fun. What's the time frame? Well, the fun, say, the fun fact that we looked up. Do you remember the fact that we looked up? Yeah, it was like they can. You can start out with two rats, and at the end of the year, you can have 1,200. 1,200. From yeah. two rats. In a year. That's insane. You better have some snakes or yeah. or 1,200 friends to give the rats to. Yeah. That's a lot of rats. All right. So, anyway, we are raffling off Cole's hat. Look how beautiful this hat is. I mean, this is a gorgeous hat, and there's a lot of names in there, and we appreciate you. And every super chat that you throw in, you get your name in the hat. And all the money goes to Raptor Rescue so we can rescue birds of prey. Now, just because we're nice, we like to give away a prize box. And, and you're going to sign it with me. And it will be autographed by both Cole and myself. But you're also, somebody tonight is going to get a prize box. And in this prize box is a Wildlife Command Center sticker. This is the 8-inch sticker, by the way. The big one. The one you call the bucket sticker. And then you're going to get two... Wildlife Command Center multi-tools. And the multi-tool is amazing because you get a nice sharp blade. It will cut you, so don't cut yourself. It comes with a Phillips head screwdriver. It's a super chat button. Nice. If you guys didn't catch on. Yep. A corkscrew. And then the my favorite part comes with a can opener and a bottle opener. That's a flathead screwdriver. So that's very, very handy. You'll get that. You'll get an oatmeal cream pie. I always call them whoopie pie. All right. You're going to get some delicious gourmet cookies from Stars Sweets, Sweets and, and Treats. Treats. You can find that on Facebook. And That's Instagram. Gracie. And Instagram. That's Gracie's mom. She made these really great. These are the maple pecan cookies. And she made two versions. One version has our, our logo on it. Very tasty. That logo is made from icing. Very, very good. You'll get a challenge coin from Wildlife Command Center that was um, that was made after the challenge coin from my submarine, the USS MG Vallejo. I'm doing really SSBN good. SSBN 658. I'm, over, I'm doing a really good job keeping up with it. I see a lot. And then finally, you'll get this incredible Wildlife Command Center coffee. This is our breakfast blend. It's going to be going out with this box. You are going to absolutely love this coffee. There's a really great story behind this, and I'm not going to tell it now, but one day we will tell the story of how this coffee became. It all started in the swamps of Louisiana. I'm not even kidding you. Well, it's actually the canals of New Orleans, but um, really good coffee here. And they can go back in the lives because I think you explained it in the first live that we did. Oh, uh, yeah? Coffee. The first live was lame, though. We didn't have the new camera or the better audio set up, so... Hey, I'm loving this new camera. This is this new camera is really good, and this this audio. So you guys, incredible. I'll I'll let them know though. You may be familiar with a celebrity chef named Emerald. Yes. And Emerald is involved with the backstory of our wildlife of command the, center cost. That's right. That's right. So if you thought we just and slapped our label on anything, no, no, no. Shame on you. Yeah. We this this coffee was made on purpose. But anyway, whoever gets the question right, the trivia question for tonight. Is going to win this prize box, and I'm going to mail it out to you tomorrow. So, get ready to answer a question. 
you want to do it now or you want to do it in a minute? I'm still debating on what the question is in my head. Okay. So, so as he contemplates the question, um, we usually take a little bit of time right now to answer some questions that we have not been able to answer or that we didn't get to yet. So I'm going to let our two moderators kind of look through the chat and see if there's some specific questions well, that we need to address. Somebody asked Thank if they get the guys. prize box, do you get an, uh, do we also get an autogram? Maybe an autograph? Autograph? Because we usually do the autograph. Do you want to sign the sticker? That'd be cool. I'll sign the sticker. You've never signed one of those. No. As a matter of fact, why don't I do it right now? Actually, this would be a good place to sign. I like it. There we go. Yes, we will autograph the sticker. We have someone in here from Tulsa, Oklahoma. Hey, you know what? Um, the prize box was won from somebody in Oklahoma. Shauna? Shauna won yeah, it. Oh, okay. Well, I did not send it to Tulsa. I'm just telling you that. I sent it to a different city. That's the mailing address she gave me. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She said that was me. So, Shauna, this prize box could be yours again if you answer the trivia question. Hey, Shauna, I gotta, I, I have to say this. I thought that I was make that I had was making the hardest trivia question ever. Yeah, and should. it was based off a question that you came up with. I did see her her comment come in really quick too. It was fast. It was so fast, you know. So the question was. Uh, genetic Genesis is trying to make a special morph in their ball python. They're trying to hatch one out. And what was the name of the morph? And what were the five ingredients or the five morphs that had to be in the snake to make that morph? And she answered it like in three minutes. Like, bam! You know? It was amazing. If you I was did, impressed, If Shana. you donated on the Super Chat this evening, you can't stick around to the end of our live because this is going to be a long one, it seems like. We will post on our community page. So pay attention to our community page and we'll get that posted up. I almost burped <laughs> while saying half of that. Um, and if you weren't here for part of the reason why he burped is because we did some roadkill jerky tasting. You know, we believe in recycle, reuse. And uh, I, I make roadkill jerky on the regular. And uh, as a matter of fact, you can go in this freezer over here and, you know, we have like, Bags and bags of roadkill jerky. Mm. You know? So I don't know if I knew that. I, I would give this away, but then you know it's too much of a liability. Somebody doesn't have a good experience. USDA is calling us then. Yeah, USDA would be calling us right away. Right away. So I really I really feel like we need to answer some questions and we need to do the prize box. But that's that's what my gut is. Before we jump into our last topic, how how long have we gone? I, I see how I have so much fun with this, and this is why I love doing this on Wednesday we've, nights. We've already gone a full hour. Really? Yeah, an hour and eight minutes. Super chat. Kelsey says you should make a falconry trip down to New Mexico sometime hunting. Yes, absolutely. I love New Mexico hunting. As a matter of fact, Albuquerque is one of my favorite places. But I also like Carlsbad uh, for falconry. Where are you guys? So tell us where in New Mexico you are, because uh, definitely I would go. I would uh, come down. Truth or Consequences, New Mexico. I know where it's at. Lovely town. Yeah. They've got the... That's uh, just south of Albuquerque. Elephant Butte State Park there. I did some camping there during my bus lifetimes. Yeah, yeah. When I was a full-on hippie. Mm-hmm. You said a, a, a nice. Eunice. Eunice by, by Carlsbad? Yeah, Eunice by Carlsbad. I know where that's at. Yeah. Yes. Luna, Let's do it. Luna County. You know, uh, we're going to put in for uh, a uh, permit for a non-resident take Harris Hawk in uh, Arizona. And we're going to be driving through Carlsbad. So we could make that happen in October. So, yes. I say yes. Let's go do it. Yeah. I. Uh, we'll, what's the... Uh, the southern uh, city in New Mexico, uh, Las, Cruces. Las Cruces. Yeah, yeah. I stayed at a Walmart parking lot there, and there was like a huge gun battle between the police and someone like right next door. It was crazy. 
You know what I think is crazy is it's like in Star Wars, the stormtroopers, like they have these big gun battles, but there's one gun against like 12 cop guns it was, and it goes on for any amount of time. It wasn't huge, but it was like 25 shots. Like it was a lot. Like it was enough where you're like, maybe I should get on the ground. <laughs> but then I learned a fun uh, little fact that you shouldn't get on the ground. Because bullets skip? Bullets skip. You actually become a larger t- target if you're laying flat on the ground. Mm. That's at least, you know, I don't know. Don't That's take good. my advice, but you know. On a different note, if you, if you guys know anybody in St. Louis, this Friday night, we're going to have our first ever trivia night. Speaking of raising, gun battles, raising, St. Louis. <laughs> there are plenty in St. Louis. Uh, if, if you guys know anybody in St. Louis, get a hold of them. Tell them. Look at our Facebook page. We're going to have our very first trivia night. It's going to be Harry Potter themed. Harry Potter and theme. All of the money, all the proceeds are going to go to our Raptor Rescue efforts. And so we're going to do it monthly. I'm going to build a community around that trivia night. It's going to be fun. Yeah, because we're going to have the hawks out there. We're going to have the owls out there. We're going to have snakes out there, alligators, the lemurs. We're all going to be having a really, really good time. A lot of people have donated some really, really good prizes for raffles. It's going to be in SoCo, South County. Yeah. So not too far away here from the center itself. Not far at all. 15 minutes. It's going to be bringing some of our animals. Yep. Yep. We're going to have some notables. From the area we're going to show up. Uh-huh. You know, some notable people that we like. Yeah. You know, can't name them because they, you know, I'm not, they're not paid to be there. They're showing up on their own accord. So it's going to be nice. But anyway, um, I think we should answer some questions and I think we should do the prize box. Did you see any questions that popped up that needed to be answered? Do a prize no. box. Yep. We were going to see some slugs. <laughs> They've asked about three times. Where are um, the slugs, so where are the slugs? Do I need to go find some slugs? Where are or, the slugs? Or do you want to see the video of when we went to the Pacific Northwest and we found some banana slugs? Michael wants me to do just a video of all of our slug encounters from... Yeah, because we did some really cool ones, man. We One night, we were driving to try to find this place. And it was the middle of the night. What was it, like 10, 11 o'clock at night? Uh, we were way out in the middle of nowhere. And we finally just pulled over on the side of the road. And it was kind of creepy. If I ever thought my boss was going to bury me in the middle of nowhere, <laughs> that was the night. We but, were like but, really deep. Like, I was, was like, man, if something happens with this Bronco we rented, <laughs> we, we could really be in for an adventure. Not a good one either. No, it would yeah. not be. But we come across some really big, uh, just X, no, uh, we came, who was that? Um, we come across some really, really big banana slugs that were black. They were solid black. Yeah. And, and we, I, those aren't, I don't, I don't know if they were banana slugs. They didn't look like bananas. So I know that banana slugs come in different shapes and colors and forms, but I think I'd looked up and it was a different type of slug. Oh, okay. Well, anyway, I want to do a video of all of our slug encounters. And here this wants us to do that, too. They also said that slugs eat horse poop. That's true. That, that's true, because the poop that was on the, the trails, the slugs were after it. It was, a, it was elk poop that they were trying to eat. Hey, guys, look at this beautiful hat, you know. This was Cole's hat at the beginning of the show. So but uh, now, now. now it could be your hat. For a super chat, you get your name thrown in here. Look at look at these names. And then all the money we raise from the super chats is going to go straight into Raptor Rescue and our ability to perform rescues for birds of prey that uh, were either unfortunate or stupid. So. So do you want to get into the trivia question? Gracie! That's the third one I'm sending in. Gracie, send in another one. You really want that hat? I drew a little rodent. You, on on there, hers, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, fun fact: so in North America, and certainly in our um, Western English, yeah. it is permissible to say opossum or possum, either way. And you can spell it either way. And we all know that you're talking about the North American Virginia possum. Yeah. So for everyone that ridicules us for saying possum, 
It is okay. Yeah, you can. You can look it up. You can shut your mouth. That's what you can do. <laughs> the YouTube Just comments. Be come, quiet. I've ac I actually I've been thinking about doing the best of worst comments. Video. Oh boy. Yeah. <laughs> hey, I'll, I'll tell you. You know, I'm in control of the, most of the comments. You know, I answer the comments, and if you ask a legitimate question, I give a legitimate answer. Um, however, whoa, that's a big one. Thank you, Sean. My heart leaks with joy. And Shauna, I don't, Shana. I need my reading glasses. It's Shauna from Oklahoma. Yeah. Um, so anyway, you can say it either way, possum or opossum. What, what did they, uh, what did they say about you the other day? What was it? It's kind of funny. Oh, you probably don't even want to say it. I don't even remember what it was. Remember? I don't know. I got viciously attacked though, yeah, on the one. internet. Yeah, that one. What was that one? <laughs> Do you remember what that stuff? Was it appropriate? I can't remember. No, I don't want to talk about okay. that. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I mean, I've dealt with it. Somebody called me a name and uh, made some comments about my mustache. Oh. Hey, I'll tell you, if you're rude on our on the chat and the comments, yeah. I will either hide you from the channel, uh -huh. which is the worst punishment because yeah. you think you're making all these bad comments, but nobody can see you. I can't see you. You're dead to us. That's the worst one. Or I just delete your comment. I do know how to hit that delete button. I delete it quite often. Or I give you some sarcastic, smart aleck retort. I mean, like in the internet's defense, which I don't know why I'm even defending the internet. Why are you? <laughs> but uh, like the animal niche is like, it's it's a touchy, it's a touchy niche. Yeah. You know, and like most people are commenting out of a love and appreciation and respect for wildlife and animals, which I think we both understand. But it's really easy to misconstrue the content that we put on the Internet. You know, when you just have a 25 second or a 15 second clip, yeah, you have a 25 second clip of uh, a random guide. A lot of people uh, handling a swan out of a pond with no other information, no of what's going on. Or knowing that you've dealt with the swan four times previously. Yeah, super, chat. Or, super chat. It ends up kind of just being. Thank just, you, guys. Hey, I really appreciate y'all. But you're right. There's no context. And so it, it gets a little bit out of hand. And we get tired of, like, correcting people. Oh, yeah. So I do have <laughs> canned responses. I do have canned responses that I use. Thank you. Thank you for the super chat. Um, especially since. People like people don't read the comments at all before they comment. Like, like I always read all the comments before I comment on a, on a video. Always. Like I will not comment until I read some, get, try to get some context, you know, but people read the, like just make comments all the time. And they always make the same comment, especially right now. The Taylor, the Swan uh, short is very, very popular. You know, it's, it's going on a, a million views. It's, it's climbing up to a million views and people always ask this question. Why is he doing that? Yeah, why? Yeah. Why question mark? Why? Le or Stop. leave the swan alone. Yeah, why would you do that? Yeah, why would you do that? It's like, well, uh, there was a very, very large construction project that was eliminating the pond temporarily, and so the swan had to be removed for its safety. Because the swan can't fly, and coyotes would eat it. Yeah. You know? But yeah, so people just ask that question over and over again. Hey, if I didn't mention this before, I want to mention it now. Thank you. Very, very much. I appreciate all of y'all. This is the highlight of my week. I love doing this. I love being on, on with you guys. I love the fact that you guys are in the chats and that y'all are watching this stuff and asking questions and supporting our cause. You know, this is a really fine hat that Cole gave. And so every super chat that comes in, your name will go in here and we're going to draw this hat. You know, the Barma, I've been wearing Barma hats for like four years now. Mm -hmm. And I, they actually reached out to me. I don't remember if I messaged them or or not, but they they were like, "You drop one." Uh, I put it back in. And they're like, "Hey, let us know what couple hats." You it was like Gracie's. We'll send them to you. <laughs> Look at me getting hat endorsements. I know, right? You know, it's crazy. Getting some hat endorsements. I paid for these hats with my own money. Super chat. Super chat. Hey, you know what, Cole? I've just made an, an executive decision. In the row. Um, we are not going to, we are not going to do the last topic that I had for tonight. No, it's too long. It, it's, it is too long, but it is good. 
It is a good one. I think everybody is going to be very interested in seeing it. We're going to start with it next week. I uh, what I was going to do for, to end this one, but I think to end this night, to end this night tonight, um, we've got to make this drawing. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Like this, like this really makes me feel so warm and fuzzy inside that y'all are willing to put y'all's hard earned money that y'all work hard to earn to, uh, to win Cole's hat and support our Raptor rescue efforts. Um, but we've got to give the prize box away. Yeah. And we have to draw the, uh, the, uh, for the hat raffle, you know, which this is an $80 hat, an $80 hat. And it's made out of kangaroo, you know, there's another one, Maria. Thank you, Maria. I appreciate you. Hey, Maria, what, what's the situation going on in Las Vegas? You know, you were able to be here tonight or, you know, what's going on, you know? So, uh, I got caught up with all that. All right. So do you want, I, I think I'm going to go with the question we talked about. Okay. All right. So let's put the hat aside. Y'all can, we're going to give you some more opportunity to, to do some super chats. And we do appreciate you so much. We're going to put that to the side. Let's go to the prize box. And now the sticker has been autographed by Bare Hands Baran. Yeah. That's really, that's really cool. Did you sign it, Michael? I did sign it, Michael. That's a rare one. Yeah. Um, you know, we had a special guest in our chat tonight. Um, but we, I didn't want to talk about that, really. But, <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, we need, to <laughs> we, we need to give this prize box away. So here's the question. So we, we've gotten a lot of you found us through our shorts content. Mm -hmm. Our shorts. Which is... Uh, which is a little depressing. Depressing? Yeah, because I spend so much time on our long form videos. <laughs> yes, but so many people are watching them. Yeah, like the, like people are watching them now. Yeah, and uh, you know, like uh, our live animal calls, our raptor rescue playlist. Like, I put in a lot of hours editing those. And he I, does. And like I, he spends a whole week editing one long form video. I, I do put in a lot of effort into our shorts content. We've been doing a lot of shorts from our long form videos over this month yeah um but since the shorts brought them here i i thought uh and it's kind of changed a little bit recently but in the chat drop what our most viewed short on our channel the title of that short and what's the title of the most viewed short on our and channel it's got and you be, will win this box it's got to be perfect i'd copy paste it so in order to make sure you get it right. get it right you know if wait you just gave them a hint I just said to copy paste it so they get it right. Yeah, I know. Well, that's a hint. Well, I, I this is going to be a quick draw. I feel you think like it's going to be a quick one. I think this is going to be a quick. It's going to be a really fast. Like, one. Everyone just scattered over to our channel. Yeah. Right. So everybody just left the chat and they're overlooking in the channel. But you're going to win this this wonderful prize box. It's got a retail value of sixty one dollars. Yeah, and if you're not if you're not interested in uh, the uh, prize box at this moment go ahead and give the stream a like you know yeah yeah definitely like. do that we need your likes we need your comments we need your likes we need your hearts you know we uh we definitely when we're done with this going to this uh once the live posts underneath our live section if you like it again and you comment underneath it especially if i didn't answer a question ask that question there that helps our uh, our algorithm. It really does. But, you know, I've said it a couple of times, but I really, really enjoy being here with you tonight. I really, really like this a lot. So I'm glad we started doing these. Yeah, the giveaway question is, what is the title of our most popular short on our YouTube channel? Yeah. And I copy and paste it. Make sure you got it. Throw it in there and, and you will win this prize box. Probably the best stuff in here is the um, Stars Sweets and Treats Gourmet Cookies. And if you really like this, you can go to her Facebook page and. and then we got won. a winner. Got a winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Who is it? Willie Weed Vinyl. Willie Weed. Whoa. <laughs> it's been a long time. I wish I could give him like an exception hey, speech moment. Hey, yeah. I, I wish I could send Willie what he really wants from Missouri, but that would not go well in the 
U.S. Postal Service. I'm concerned, but yeah. I, won't, I won't ask questions. I'm concerned. <laughs> All right, Willie. Hey, man, that's cool. That's cool. So I'm going to package this up. So, Willie, uh, I need you to send your contact information to info at cancatchit.com. As a matter of fact, um, could you put that in the chat for Willie? Just put at Willie Weed. Uh, info at cancatchit.com. I think, uh, yeah, info at can. Can you girls put that in the chat for us? Yep. And info then, uh, at cancatchit.com. Willie, send me your contact information, your name, your address, and your cell phone number, and I will put this prize box in the mail tomorrow for you. Could you hand me some tape so I can take yeah, this up? You may need to hit me with some more paper, actually. Yep. All right. So now we're going to move from the prize box. Way to go, Willie. I'm really happy you won that, Willie. You've uh, you've been like really loyal in the chat and in the comments. We had a new new super chat donation from T. Hey, T. Yeah. Thank you, T. It looks like T's uh, profile picture is one of those red pandas. Is in that red panda? Yes. It is a red panda. It's like my favorite thing to see at the St. Louis when I'm there. They're so cute. I can't wait till we get one. It's not, it's not, uh, oh yeah, it is USDA does. Do you want to go over the drawing for the hat while I try to keep up with this? Yeah, quick? absolutely. Okay, guys, so we are going to move into the drawing for the hat. So at the beginning of the show, um, I snatched the hat off the coal and, um, and because he did it to me last week. And this is an, 80, an $80 kangaroo leather Aussie hat that's made by the Burma. 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 Burma company a quality hat and cole and i are both going to autograph this hat for you and in three years this thing's going to be worth like seven thousand dollars not i mean maybe know, more maybe more maybe worth ten thousand dollars there's only one other hat of mine that is out circulating in the general public oh tell me about that so there's another hat of yours one other circulating hat. in the general public Tell me about it. I, I gave it to a good friend of mine, at the time at least. <laughs> and uh, I've been there. <laughs> and they, they have that hat. And, uh, you know, it was actually, it was the only black hat I purchased too. Because mm. you can get these in different color combos and whatnot. Mm -hmm. And I, for some reason, I got the same size I normally do. But there's different size, like there's different style hats. Uh, and for some reason, that particular one just did not fit my just head. Work, it was right? a little too small. Mm. And so I had it as like a de de decor item mainly, like in my camper at the time. Cool. And uh, But I sent them that hat as a little... Hey, well, for this hat me. is going to be going out tonight to one of you fine folks. Yeah, this one has, is a genuine Cole Hieronymus original, though. I wore this This one's hat been war. Day and night. For this one is in a lot of YouTube videos, you know? And so it's going to go out. It is an $80 kangaroo leather hat um, in fine style, I might add. And uh, and somebody's going to get it tonight. We're going to let this go on just a little bit. And if anybody's got any questions, now it's time to ask. Because once we give this hat away, we're going to wrap this up for tonight. Um, I've had a really, really good time tonight. You know, I mean, you guys have been great. Y'all are so interactive. It's so much fun. I just love seeing this chat line going. It's really cool. So. Ask your question now. What's your favorite animal, Michael? My favorite animal is definitely the Harris hawk. I love the Harris hawk. Outside of the Harris hawk. Okay. Um, well, I got to go with the lemur. I mean, I don't know. I like Godiva. Godiva is really nice. Zeus is really cool. Zeus is really pretty. Those are two snakes. Those are two snakes. Those are oh, but, but I, definitely, I definitely like Ben. Ben is a lot of fun. He's our gopher snake. He's uh, and he likes to hiss, so that's what makes him fun. But I also like the new curly hair tarantula, uh, Sherman. Like he's big, and he's got those big curly hairs, and he makes he looks all um, all. I like all of them. I like all the animals except raccoons. I don't like raccoons. I have more stitches from raccoons than any other animal. What so, animal would want to have as our next animal? That you don't have. Yep, that we don't have. Oh, that we don't have? I would love a red panda. That would be a lot of fun. Oh, I, I would like a tooth, a two-toed sloth. 
That would be a lot of fun. But they they have such delicate stomachs. Like they, you got to watch what they eat. I I hear know? sloths are really hit or miss on being friendly or not friendly. I don't, I don't know that any of them are really friendly. Although the one at Alexandria Zoo that I used to take care of down in Alexandria, Louisiana, that that sloth loved me. Did I don't you work know at the zoo? Yeah, I worked at the zoo. I was a docet. I don't know what a docet at the zoo. I was oh, a volunteer. Oh, a docet. Yeah. What does that even mean? So a dose set is like a trained volunteer that gets to go behind the scenes. And of course, you know, I wasn't really Bear Hands Baran back then, but I was Michael Baran and he's pretty cool too. And so, you know, yeah, I, got I got to I got to go around behind the scenes there. So, yes. Some someone but yeah, go for it. Go the three toed sloth loved me. That that three toed sloth sloth loved me. So someone said, Why do I choose the outback style hat? Why do you choose the Outback style hat, not a cowboy hat? So I I was a road adventurer previous to my position at Wildlife Command Center. And so I'd call it my adventure hat. And it is. It does look very adventurous. I was a pretty avid hiker, too. Still am. I love hiking. Kind of gives me, you know, Harrison Ford vibes. Yeah. And so it was a little mix of Indiana Jones. Yeah. With just a nice salad adventuring hat. because. If you're an avid hiker, you know how miserable. If you're not wearing a hat and you're hiking, you're just you get not, a sunburn across your forehead. Well, the sunburn, but like the branches. Oh yeah. You know, and I I'm not taking like your traditional like super easy novelty hike, so like it becomes like a defense mechanism. Okay. Um, okay. And then the other reason why is I haven't owned a pair of sunglasses ever since I was 20, and when I got my first pair of glasses. I just, I never purchased uh, subscription sunglasses. And once I put on, I actually got uh, my first hat gifted to me when I was on the road. And that's just so great. Driving, sun glare. I got blue eyes. If you got blue eyes, you know how difficult it is to drive with sun glare going yeah, on. I do. But, you know, so just kind of, you know, and it just so happens like. <laughs> and you look really good in it. So that's the other thing. Thanks, Mike. You know? I do get people that are like, oh, it's, uh, Coyote Peterson's behind the camera now, you know, because, but I mean, I've been wearing this hat. Uh, Way before Coyote came around. I don't even think it was before him. I think it was just kind of a coincidence. You know, when you're in the animal world, I mean, who, Crocodile Dundee, you know, all, you know, it's a pretty similar style hat. And so it just so happened to fit really good in with the animal kingdom. Cool. Well, I think it's time to cut off. We're cutting it off. Yeah. Uh, but putting the, you can still super chat us. I mean, we still we still can take you know stuff like that, but we're gonna cut it off for the for the raffle. Um, we have one more question. Oh, is there another question? Yeah. We'll answer the question, but but no more super chats for the raffle. This is we're gonna cut it off. Right. T says, "What animal do you think would make it big next to Hollywood and get its own series like Airbud?" So, what animal would potentially make it big next to get a series similar to Airbud? Well. You know, um, dog. Everybody loves dogs. You know, I don't know that a, that an exotic animal will ever really make it. You know, well, uh, Zumafu. Bazumafu. Zumafu. Bazumafu. Zabumafu. 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 Yeah, but um, yeah, that, that was he. He did make it, um, but not to the not to the level of Airbud. Airbud made a lot of money. Yeah, that's true. Uh, in my Spanish class in uh, high school, we had it always to do a storybook. You know, yeah. I don't know if you you all. Well, did. you know, everybody <laughs> seems to love opossums. They seem to really love opossums, and they love sloths. Well, so you think of like why Airbud got? I mean, it's dogs are very trainable. Very trainable. And you can you can train them to and, do a lot, of and they're animals. lovable, and they got a lot of personality. Um. But the end of my Spanish project, I did a book and it was called the Azul Tartugo. Azul Tartugo. The blue turtle. The blue turtle. So, a, hey, there's a Pokemon turtle that's a blue turtle. So maybe uh, it'll be a blue turtle. You know, you never know. You may have just known know. beforehand. You know? it's, it's hard to say. I did like one animated film that I think is really underrated is Over the Hedge. Over the Hedge. Oh, yeah, yeah. I like that. I I saw that in theaters. It was my my buddy and I took his uh, younger brother at the time to go see it, and we just laughed our butts off. Yeah, the entire. You know, if you count Rocket, 
the raccoon. I think he surpassed Air Bud. I think Rocket the raccoon's definitely made more money. You know, probably. So. Yeah, but it's not a movie about him. Okay, well, he makes it about himself. You know, so we're we're he is pretty self centered and egotistical. Yeah, we're we're thinking about doing a feature film. We are going to do a feature film. Yeah, we're we not. Are. We're way past thinking about it. I know. I just don't. I don't. I don't like to. I like to commit. Like, let's do it. So, but a lot let's of let's make it tomorrow. Let's start filming. A lot of our animals will be in that film. So, yeah, like all the animals here at Wildlife Command Center will be making some cameos in that film. So, so it'll be good. Excited about. I'm that. ready to draw. Cool. But I don't want to draw. Well, the only one Gracie's Gracie's got, got her name in, in so she can't draw. So I think it's up to Taylor. Come on up. Taylor, come on up. Hey, that's a cool hoodie that you got on. I really like that. That's a really nice hoodie. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, look at that. Mm -hmm. Very nice. I'm not looking. All right, don't look. Put your, put your hand in there. Wiggle it around. Pull a name out. Any name. The best name. Who do we think it's going to be? And it is Nicole Walker. No way. Nicole she had, Walker. You had one name in there. Nicole, you won Cole's Aussie hat. Wow, very cool. Yeah. Are you going to fly back up here to get to, to pick this up, or do you want me to ship it to you? If you want me to ship it to you, send me your address to info at cancatchit.com. But look how beautiful this hat is, Nicole. She We're, says she wants to donate it. You want to donate it? Why, thank you, Nicole. Well, I'll tell you what, then. You we'll just do the we'll, trivia night? Let's do it at the trivia night. Oh, my God. Let's, let's. It was a little anxiety written raffling off my own hat this whole time. I got to do it again. <laughs> Here, you can so pick where cool. you want to. Hey, I want to thank you guys again. I really appreciate the fact that y'all support. <laughs> really? <laughs> she just commented it. She said, yeah. And it's, it's Nicole's hat. So, okay. I still want them signatures, though. All right. It's turning so quickly. Hey, go, man. I feel like I got to take All right, Nicole. For this. So, I'll tell you why Nicole okay, did that because Nicole came here to the center. She flew from Atlanta, Georgia. To St. Louis, and she actually <clears throat> met with with Gracie, and she saw that how badly Gracie Lee was treated around here. Yeah, she feels really bad for me. You know, so there you go. Just mm -hmm. making sure it's stuck good. Do you want to crown me? I'll let Cole do it. Yeah. Yeah. Here you go. All right. Here you go. Actually, you know, I think I think oh, yeah. that's going to be a good horse photography hat. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> You know, you can get an insert for that so that it fits you properly. I'm, I'm they, they usually do come with it's inserts, authentic. too. I may actually have a couple inserts in my, uh, my camper. Thank you, guys. Just hey, you it. know, this really means a lot to me. Like, it really, really means a lot to me that y'all would support us, that you would send your hard-earned money into us so that we can provide raptor rescue rescue efforts. And you know what? The next the next rescue, raptor rescue we go on, we need to make sure we mention, thank you, Nicole, for uh, helping, but also I think we need to keep all these names and and like put them as a credit. The next Raptor Rescue we do, yeah, I mean that'd be cool actually. Cool, do. I'm gonna keep all these. These are these we're gonna keep. So we're gonna wrap this up. I really appreciate you guys. I have a blast on these lives. It, I look forward to them. I love doing them. I like being here with you. I like all you all your interaction. And uh, it just makes me feel really, really good that y'all would do this. You know, send us in this your hard earned hard earned money. So, do you have any final thoughts? Uh, well, Friday night we're gonna have our very first Raptor Rescue Trivia Night. It's gonna be Harry Potter themed. We're gonna start doing it every month. And uh, if you know anybody in the St. Louis area, definitely tell them about our Harry Potter Trivia Night. We're gonna be doing it at six o'clock on the twenty fourth. That's this Friday night. And uh, we really are going to have a really, really good time. Yeah, you can find the information on Facebook. Yeah, it's on Facebook. Go to our Wildlife Command Center Facebook page. It's under events. It's got all the contact information there. 
definitely after this video post, make sure you go through it and like it. Uh, leave some comments on it so we get more interactions with it. And then, of course, if you guys haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button because that means the world to us. The more subscribers we get, the better it helps our, our, our algorithm, you know, and, and YouTube will send our pictures out, our videos out so that more people can watch our videos. Yeah, I mean, it, it goes a long way. Like even if uh, you have a favorite video on our YouTube channel and you just want to share out one of your favorite videos from us, like that goes a long way to getting uh, the videos out there and new people to the channel. And mm -hmm. um, just really appreciate it. We definitely do. Well, we're going to close this up. Appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for being here tonight. Uh, we'll see you again next Wednesday at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. We're going to start with the the uh, project that we did not do tonight just because we ran out of time because you guys are so engaging. You know, we had so much fun, but we're going to start with that project. But for tonight, we're going to call it good night. We're going to see you guys later. Good night. Good night. Good night. Ha, 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 ha.